Hi, Mara here, your trusty LearnPad Implementation Specialist. In this tutorial, let's explore how to build a lesson on the LearnPad Management Portal. The complete collection of content developed on the portal is called a lesson. Students have one lesson on their device at a time. Students access content on their device through lessons that their teacher has created on the Management Portal. Teachers decide exactly what they want their students to focus on and only the selected content is available to students during the lesson. This keeps students focused on the targeted learning objectives. First, you'll need to log in to the cloud-based LearnPad Management Portal. In order to access the portal, you'll need to create an account using your email invitation. If you have not received one, please contact your administrator. Once you have created your account, simply point your browser to http colon slash slash learnpad.us and log in. Once you have established and logged in to your management portal, you can create your own lesson. Pause this video at any time and create your own lessons on your management portal. You can always come back to this and the other video tutorials in the series if you need a quick refresher. Now I'll demonstrate how you can make your own lessons on the portal. This example lesson is on the topic of states of matter. My categories or subtopics will include an introduction to the states of matter and then a category for each of the three states, solids, liquids, and gases. Now let's start from scratch. You'll find that the LearnPad shortcuts on the home screen are a great place to start. First I click Build a new lesson. Then I give my lesson a name, in this case, the States of Matter, and click Add Lesson. After naming the lesson, the lesson page screen is visible. You will notice that there aren't any resources available here until we add categories. In this example, my categories are the subtopics within the States of Matter. Now I click Add New Category and simply add the first introductory subtopic. In this case, the subtopic is titled Introduction to the States of Matter and press Add New Category. Now I can choose the pieces of content I want my students to have when they open the Introduction to the States of Matter category. We have three options for types of content, also called resources. One type of resource is a link to a website where a teacher can decide how limited or open the student's access to the site will be. Another type of resource is a file such as a Word document, a PowerPoint, a PDF, picture, or even a video. The third type of resource is an app that can be found in our content store. Now let's take a look at how to add our own resources. First I'm going to click Add New Website and create a link to a very specific website so my students stay targeted on learning about what the states of matter are. I'm going to open a new tab within my browser and copy and paste the URL of the website I want the students to access. In this case, I have a link to a website outlining what solids, liquids, and gases are. Since I only want my students to access this one particular site, I'm going to take this exact URL and copy it. Now I'll go back to the portal and paste the website URL. I'm going to get rid of the http colon slash slash because the website URL already has that in it. Just click Paste and Add Website. You'll notice that the portal automatically gives your new website a name based on the URL you have entered. For the properties of this website resource, click on the name of it and you can add any whitelist URLs as needed. For more information about whitelisting, please watch the video called Safe and Secure Web Browsing Whitelisting. Now I'm going to click the back button to return to my category. Next I'll add a file that I have on my computer that specifically covers an introduction to the states of matter. Remember that files can be almost any type of file you have on your computer already, like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF, pictures, and videos. To add a file, just click Add New File. Here's what the file looks like that I have on my computer. This file has students using what they learned from the States of Matter website they must determine whether an object is a solid, liquid, or gas. And now I'll just give my file resource a name. The name of my file is What's the Matter? 
and then I'll click Add File Resource. What you're looking at is the properties for the file resource. All you need to do is click Upload File, choose File, and then find the file on your computer. Here's my States of Matter worksheet. I'll press Open and Upload. When you have uploaded your file, you'll see it listed under All Files on the Properties page for the file resource. Now we have our website and our file resource. Next, let's go into the Content Store to choose educationally appropriate apps, files, and websites that have already been created by our content team. We'll click Store at the top. On the left-hand side, you have access to 200 pre-made lessons that are aligned to state standards. In the middle, you have access to pre-made categories. And on the right-hand side, you'll have your resources, which are apps, websites, and files that the content team has put together. For the apps, you'll have access to over 1,000 educationally appropriate apps that our content team has vetted. I'm going to type in the word matter for my keyword and see what kind of pre-made content pops up. On the left-hand side are all the pre-made lessons, in the middle are the pre-made categories about Matter, and on the right-hand side would be the websites, files, and apps that have to do with Matter. The icon next to the resource lets us know the format of the resource. This chain link icon indicates that the resource is a link to a specific website. This icon resembling a piece of paper indicates that the resource is a file, like a Word document, PowerPoint presentation, Excel spreadsheet, a PDF, picture, or a video. This Android icon refers to an app for your Android LearnPad. To choose something from the store, simply click it, and then click on the star. A gold star means that it has been selected and is ready to use within a category. We can also quickly add it to an existing category by clicking Add to Category, and then selecting the category I wish to add it to. In this case, Introduction to the States of Matter. Now I will return to my lesson screen and continue on with the rest of my categories. I'll click on Lessons and find my States of Matter lesson. I follow the same process as I did when creating my Introduction to the States of Matter category. I click Add New Category and I'm going to title this Solids. I can add websites, files, or apps to the Solids category following the same steps I used when I made the States of Matter Introduction category. And of course, I'll continue with separate categories for liquids and gases too. For more information, please visit our Knowledge Base by clicking the Support tab located at the top of the portal. That completes this tutorial on building lessons on the LearnPad Management Portal. For more information, please visit the Support page at the top of the portal.